Been getting into some Italian perfumery lately, boy, and I picked up another Zerzhov joint that smells. Let's show my motherfucking music so we can chitty chat about this piece. Sexy Beautiful peoples, you know who it is. This your boy, C to you to the V to the A. Whenever you mention Zerzhov, I don't know why this fragrance always came up, and I never got my hands on the bottle. It's very expensive. Most Zerzhovs are super expensive. So whenever you come across a website and you get a little 20, 30 percent, if even that's the case, I would go ahead and jump right on it or buy pre-owned or half-used bottles. If I could find a dope bottle that's been sprayed fucking 38 times, I will totally cop that shit. Considering you got over 500 plus fragrances, ain't no shame in my game. Bag this joint up. And everybody was like, yo, this is the one you need to get. Yo, I think you would like this. Yo, check this out. This has been for years. Completely ignored it. Why? Because my bank account told me to ignore it. But I got it in hand and the fragrance is none other than my Zerzhov 40 Knots. I'm telling you, I love Zerzhov bottles, not just because of the presentation, but because of the double utility that these bottles have. And we've spoken about it before. It does wonders for the leather Cheerio. Now this fragrance I've been told is a nice combination of like some dark woods and some sea salty aquatics. And I'm like, doesn't sound too crazy for the price point. So what makes this joint so special? I've been wearing it a couple times and I'll be happy to wear it right now. And I'm gonna tell you this shit smells good, fam. It does remind me of something, but sadly my memory has been getting worse. I don't know the older I get, the fucking more I'm forgetting things, or maybe I'm just going through early stages of fucking old timers, but I'd be forgetting shit. But the scent profiles do remind me. I just don't pinpoint the name of the fragrances right off of rip. It happens to me quite often. What am I gonna fucking tell you? It does smell like something else I know, but man, is it nice, salty, aquatic, and woody. It's beautiful. It's a really nice fragrance. Has some greenery, has some medicinal vibes to it, but it just smells lively in summertime, but flexible for all seasons. So it's woody, green notes, salt water, aquatics. It has all those notes listed. But for me, I'm getting things that are a little bit different that aren't listed on the notes. I definitely get the salt water aspect. I get the aquatic aspect. You do get the woody nuance. But for me, I'm also getting powdery and I'm getting ambery, sugary, sweet, wet woods, some earth, like some wet ground earth. And it has an all seasons capability for the fact that it has that saltwater aquatic vibe for a high heat. It must smell fantastic during the time that I've had this fragrance. So I haven't been able to test it out in that super high heat, but the humidity has held. What I have been noticing is depending on how I pull the trigger on this shit, it varies. Like at one point it was a little bit too too strong and it gave me a little bit of a headache and I think I went a little crazy on the trigger right because I was enjoying the fragrance profile so much on my arms that I was like yo let me go crazy so while I had this cap in my ass walking around I was spraying the fragrance and I had this like a butt plug and it was just giving me all kinds of vibes and sensations as you can imagine I get the salt water aspect I get the green notes I get that salty vibes right but what I am getting a lot of is powdery amber I a punch of powdery amber which I have no problem with powdery amber but I think the powdery amber adds to that fall component and that salty salt water and woodiness does bring a, that salty salt water and slight medicinal green note that I'm getting adds to that spring and summertime vibe so that's why I feel like this fragrance is very versatile excuse me I don't feel like the fragrance is completely transitional I, I feel like it does have a little bit of lin linearness is that a word? After the opening, the opening starts to just do its thing and just start switching up a little bit. But then after like a 15 minute point, it just relaxes into what it's going to be. And into my nose, it's more of an amber, salt watery, powdery fragrance with wet woods that has a nice substantial amount of sweetness, but might be a little bit crazy in the high heat if you overspray. That's my assumption. Because again, the overspraying in the humidity aspect was a little bit wild and again it gave me a slight migraine but it wasn't something that I was like ah I can't wear this shit again but what I also noticed is that on my skin it wasn't a performance beast either and that's probably why I jumped to the overspraying aspect because I have worn it a couple of times and I felt that it didn't produce as much as I would want it to especially for the type of price point that it is but the scent profile was so enjoyable that I went a little wild crazy and then that's when the fucking headache came in and it just, you know, uppercutted me. <sighs> Here it goes.
All in all, not to make this complicated, 40 Knots, I think, is a beautiful fragrance. I really like what this fragrance does on my skin. I do wish it performed a little bit better on my skin, but the notes for me don't give it a clear picture. I feel that the ambery and pottery notes should be listed on the note breakdown because there's a lot of it, especially on the pottery ambery aspect. I mean, that should be put in there as well. Yes, you got the salt, yeah, you got the woods, yeah, you got the aquatics, yeah, you got the green notes, but powdery amber notes should be listed there. At least that's what I'm getting to my nose. So for me, this is absolutely a ball sprayer and a butt plug. Ah, nothing better than 40 nuts. I'll see y'all bitches next time. Let me know what you guys think of 40 nuts and any other from the JTC line that I need to get. And I'll see y'all bitches next time. You know who it is? Biggest in the game. Smooches. Money for the roller roller star tag when it's time to call back. Oh. For the rough brother that raw way, this nigga Jay, it's a game, but he don't play. Hey. For all the chicks that got dead in the penthouse suite on top of my mom's crib. Hey. It's long since you never get in. It's long since that you would think that you would. <laughs>